Hello guys, good afternoon. So our topic for today is uh, we're going to run multiple forms in one panel. Okay. So I have already created a project. So the project name is multiple forms in one panel. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to create at least uh, four forms form one will be our main form and then the succeeding forms will be uh, run or displayed inside a panel okay so let us try to rename first this form one let's change this let's uh, change it to frm main form okay and then uh, I'm going to add another form right click at Windows form okay so I'll leave it as form 1 okay then add okay I already have a form 1 here and then there and then again I'm going to add another form let's say add windows form so again I will be leaving it the name as form 2 okay now I have form 2 one more let's add another form so right click the project name and then add windows form so again, I'll be leaving the name as form 3. There. Okay, this form 3. So let's go back to the main form. Let's uh, add or resize this form, the main form, this main form. Okay. I'll change this text to main form. And then let's add up a button here. There. Another button. Then another button. So let's change the text property of button one to let's say run form one. Then this would be run form two. Button three would be run form three. Okay, and then let's try to change the name of this button. This would be, let's say, BTN form 1. And this button would be BTN form 2. And this would be BTN form 3. Okay, and now let's add a panel. The panel is inside the containers because the panel is a container just like the group box. So click panel and then I'm going to grab the panel let's say about this size. Okay. Okay. Now uh, let's try to change the background of the panel. Uh, background color let's say this color up workspace okay. so basically what we're going to do is that when we click this button the run form one it will basically run form one inside the panel so it will not run uh, a, in a particular individual form so it will be run inside the panel likewise with form two and form three okay now 
So what we're going to do now is I'm going to write the code for this button. Okay, so this is btn form one. So the code would be. Uh, oh wait, let's go back to the main form. So this panel also has properties. It has. It also have a name. This panel one. So I'm not going to change the name of this panel since we only have one panel here. So I will not be changing any more than the panel. But again, when you do programming, when you have lots of forms and lots of panel, you need to change the name of the panel. Okay, just like with what we did with the names of the buttons. Okay, so going back here, uh, this one. Okay, so we're going to write the code. So the code, the first code would be let's we're going to clear anything what's inside the panel. So the code would be panel. So the name of the panel it's panel one dot then control controls dot clear. Okay. So basically, what it's going to do first is that when you click the button, it will clear all. Or clear everything inside the panel we clear all controls first and then um, what we're going to do is we're going to call form one form one so the name of the form is form one here look at I did not change the name of the form so it's still form one so I'll be calling form one that top level equals so what we're going to do here or what we're trying to have here is that we're going to eliminate uh, the top level of this form in order for it to be shown inside the panel so it becomes false okay and then the next would be uh, we're going to add the form to the panel so inside the panel okay so the code is panel one dot controls dot add and then the name of the form form one so the argument would be the name of the form so what we did we have added form one inside the panel because form one is a control okay but what we're going to do is we're going to show to form one. Diba? Our code is form one that show. That's it. Okay. So let's try to run. So we already have the code here. Let's try running it. Okay. So when we click run form one. So form one is run inside the panel. Look, it's inside the panel. You can maximize it. You can minimize it. You can restore it. Basically, the form is inside the panel. So uh, the next thing is that we're going to if we're, if we're going to create this. Have if we click this run form two, then form two will be run here. And likewise with form 3 so basically the code is the same okay so let's stop it first let's say we double click form 2 so you can copy and paste so I'm going to copy this one control C paste it here control B so I will just be renaming this form 1 to form 2 I'm gonna change this one to form from form 1 to form 2 because I'm going to run form 2 so this is form 2 ok so basically when we click form 2 it will clear everything what's inside the panel and then um, the top level property of form 2 will be will be false and then we're going to add form 2 to the panel and then it will show the form so it the reason why we clear this one is that in order for form one to be cleared inside 
the panel when you click form 2 if we do not have this in if we click uh, the button form 1 so form 1 will be displayed inside the panel then without this clear here so form 2 will be shown and then uh, form 1 will be still inside the panel so that's why we need to clear it first okay there okay likewise with form 3 so double click form 3 so this is btn form 3 then all we have to do now is to copy again okay i have already copied it let's say paste and then i'll be changing this to form 3 and this one also form 3 and uh, form 3 okay then start click here uh, this is form 1 then when I click run form 2 it will run form 2 so basically it clears form 1 there and then when I click run form 3 then form 3 will be displayed here that's form 2 and this is form 1 okay so that's it that's our lesson in this uh, video Okay, the next thing that we'll be discussing about uh, the whole form running uh, the forms inside the form or the main form without a panel but I do hope you understand this lesson I do hope you have your computer at home try this uh, video try running this uh, code here basically it's just one two three four lines of code only okay so i do hope you understand that when we have this code we're calling panel one all the controls inside the panel panel one will be cleared and then we're going to uh, change the property of top level to false and then we're going to add the form the panel and then we're going to show the form okay and that's it so please do again watch out for my other videos and uh, i hope you're feeling well lahat kayo and please lang um pag load kayo ng inyong data or wifi and kailangan nyo mag online during our class okay so yung class hours natin you must be all online and i do hope that you will all make a comment on this video and on any other um post that i have i do have in our edmod edmodo okay so that's it and watch out for my other videos and see you soon guys sa class natin Stay safe, okay? Stay safe. Stay at home, okay? Bye.